The easiest way to add that distressed, grungy looking style to your designs is by using Kittle. It's so easy. All you have to do is select one of our textures, play with a couple of settings, and you can even clip the texture to your design for things like t-shirts. So let's take a look at how to do that right now. But if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up to try it for free using the link down in the description. All right, so I have a image that I want to put texture on. So over here, we can actually upload anything we want as long as it's a PNG, JPEG, or SVG. I have this image I found that is public domain, it's public use, and I like it, but I think what might be even cooler is if it has this texture, this kind of parchment-y looking texture on it, which is super easy to do in Kittle, because all we have to do is go down here into textures, and boom, I just click it, and I can even go through, select a couple different ones, and we have so many from paper textures to patterns, like this one is really cool, we also have subtle grain textures like this, we have crazy ones like marble and wood and brick and plastic and all of this sort of stuff that you can go through. And then we can change the opacity over here so that we can make it as intense or as little as we want. We can also change the blending mode, maybe multiply, does something a little bit different, or you want overlay for something lighter, and then we can change the opacity. Uh, but we have all of these different options for you to play with in Kittle. And of course, these apply to your other designs that you make in Kittle. Now, if we release it by hitting that release button now I can add multiple textures on top of each other and keep playing with the opacity or the or the different blending modes maybe we want this one color burn or something like that and after we feel comfortable then we can go over here and download it you can of course change your dimension sizes if you need to uh, you can remove the background of course if it's a design that you've made in Kittle and you can download it in a variety of ways that are going to be best suited for you maybe you just need JPEG or maybe you need a piece PDF. Another thing we can do is create an alpha mask for the texture so we can basically kind of erase texture away from the design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an SVG, so a scalable vector file. Of course, you could do this with anything that's already in Kittle. I'm just showing you the capability of maybe uploading your own artwork or maybe you have license to use something you've downloaded elsewhere. Uh, and you can use Kittle's textures to easily create that grungy or or distressed look so over in textures maybe we want grunge on top of this wolf illustration then we can go over here and select alpha mask and what alpha mask is doing after we clip the content is that it is erasing it from the wolf itself so now you can see if I change the background you can see little erased pieces with the color coming through the wolf and then you can even go through and select different options and you will watch it change change and it's already clipped so it's already done the work for you and this is perfect for if you're trying to make a t-shirt design or something like that so you can go through and you can select the best one for you and once you are comfortable we can go up here to the background color and then just turn it off and then we can download it just like I showed you before uh, we can change our DPI and of course if you forget to change the background you can remove it right here by hitting that and then you can download the best option for you now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.